How's everybody? Good, I hope. I uh, finally gave in and decided to buy myself a uh, Donny FL, Fat Boy 2.0. Um, these have been out now for the last year or so, um, proven quite popular. Um, bought this in November and it's been a few months since um, waiting for it to turn up in the stock at the Sportsman Gun Centre and Exeter, but it finally did the other day and uh, I'm glad to say I've got it. And I'm glad to say I'm pretty well impressed with the build quality. It's my first Donny FL that I've ever had. Um, Normally I use a 0DB um, or uh, the FX sound moderator that come with the M3. Um, I did get this thinking it's, it's a nice chunky can and it's going to help when I'm in the vehicle um, rather than having a big long silence. So I did, I did look at the Ronin and the Emperor and although it looks absolutely cool, it's um, pretty long, pretty heavy. So this is as it comes in the unit. It comes with three different air strippers um, in 177 stroke 22, 22 stroke 25 and 25 stroke 30 cal. Um, what I've done is I've purchased a separate um, air stripper kit that will be fitted into uh, this. I'll get it all assembled. I'm not gonna go through it. I'm just gonna assemble it and then cut straight to it. Um, and it does help with the uh, air stripping qualities, I believe. Um, I've yet to check for any long range accuracy as uh, the weather is pretty blowy out here at the moment, but um, I'm hoping that um, not just with sound deadened qualities, um, but it's going to help with my accuracy as well, because obviously anything you put on your barrel is going to be out of the harmonics of it. Um, it can improve it or it could actually make it worse. So um, without actually trying, um, I don't know yet, but um, yeah, let's get this assembled and I'll show you what it looks like. So get it out of the box, get that out of the way. Um, with this, the factory uh, as such air stripper fits into here. But um, what I'm going to be doing is fitting my muzzle brake that I've already fitted these um, air strippers to. Um, if you can see that, see the two in there. A little bit fiddly, but it's uh, it works great with the with the tool that um, that comes with it with the muzzle air stripper kit. So that fits into there. Can have a knock the cross thread it. Finger tight, that's all you need. Um, this back shell comes off and then it enables you to fit the extender. So let's get that on there like that. And that there is it fully assembled now. Um, I, I would say it's going to be a good nine inches long. Um, and like I said, it's the, one of the biggest, um, it's all half inch UNF at the back there. Um, it's one of the biggest sound moderators I've ever had. So I'll get this on the M3 now and uh, I'll just um, fire a few shots off and uh, show you uh, what it looks like on the M3 because I think it looks absolutely badass. Um, thing is, uh, with with these sound mods, from what I've said before with them, is the, the sound deadening qualities, I believe, are very, very similar. I mean, if you're going to get the big Emperor, maybe that's a bit lower again, but... You, you, from the difference from having a zero dB to having something like this, is not a huge amount. Um, I would say the argument there is if you're using higher pressures or bigger calibers, then maybe. With, but I have found with my 0.25 um, M3 and my FX, sorry, and my FX Crown Mark II, that the sound deadening qualities. Yep, take the sound moderator off. Big difference. Put put a sound moderator on. They're not hugely. Um, different but again it's horses for courses and whatever your needs are and uh, I need one of these so uh, I, I'm, I'm going to get one of them I'll get it fit to the rifle now and um, I'll get out and just fire a few shots off I mean the video is not going to do it justice but um, yeah you can just see what it looks like with some slugs coming out of it Like I said, they're all about the same sort of a uh, level, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty quiet. Um, the video doesn't do it justice, but um, you're just going to take my word for it or go and buy one. But uh, yeah, that's the end of this little quick little review, just a little bit of interest. Um, going to uh, get out now at some point, well not now, not with the weather it is, and uh, try and um, see what the uh, groups are like, if they improved or if they're any different, hopefully not any worse. But uh, there you go, there's my little take on the... Uh, Donny FL, fuck boy, 2.0.